Greetings, and welcome once again to another exciting episode of Age of Empires Castle Siege Tutorials. I am Dice Gods, and with me is my son. Dice Gods Jr. Yeah, there you go. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do an attack. I had uh, one of the guys in my alliance attempt to do a uh, do an attack utilizing Herman and Edward as his heroes. And uh, it was a little less than successful, so I figured I would try my hand at one and maybe create a tutorial video while I was at it, since it's been a while. Show you how I would, how I would go it's about It's been a while thing. since he's done an age 10 video. Yeah, the last one was uh, an age 7, huh? Yeah. So anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and find us a good castle. Get straightened to this. Now, one of the things about the Herman Edward combo, or pretty much any combo of heroes that doesn't make use of Martel or Conrad, um, it's going to be a lot harder. Um, my three favorite combos are the Martel Nevsky, um, Conrad Richard, um, Conrad Jones, another good one, but um, and then Maslama and Winrich. Um, the, the thing is, most people, and I'm sure all of you have found this out by now if you've been playing this game for any length of time, that uh, everyone everyone's pretty good at the ram rush. It's a good way to, to pretty much win. Um, you have a lot of guys who only do ram rushes utilizing Martel and Conrad, which is a total waste, because you're taking the two most powerful heroes in the game and using them in the same attack. And that doesn't, you know, unless you're going to just do one attack every whatever, two and a half, three hours, whatever it is. Or you're going to spend a lot of money on this game. That's kind of... Pointless. You know, yeah, pointless. Um, <clears throat> now, developing alternate hero combos, wherein you're using heroes that... You know, hero combos where uh, Martel and Conrad aren't being used. Well, then you can do more attacks and play the game more and get your crown count up, win more... Uh, resources, you know, whatever the heck. Anyway, the point I'm trying to get to is that with, um, say, like a hero combo like uh, Herman and Edward, <clears throat> you're pretty much... you got to make the keep your primary objective. You Getting two stars would be nice, but really the key thing is just getting a successful attack in. So that's what we're basically going to do. We're just going to try and get a successful attack in because we've already used, say, for example, our um, Martel Nevsky. We've used our Conrad, whoever, Joan, Richard, you know, whoever you're. This seems pretty you know, easy. This is a this is a, a Subterror dome <laughs> or version thereof. This is designed to thwart. I've never actually done a <clears throat> tutorial video where I explained these. This is designed to thwart the ram rush because there are no walls. And if you were to deploy Conrad, he would simply, he, you couldn't activate his ability. So that's the whole point of this. That's why every single outer facing wall is a gate. Except for, this is not properly done. Okay, this guy screwed this up. <laughs> Somebody could do a ram rush on this because there are outer facing walls. Oh well, so we're running out of time, so we got to do our attack here. So, so just... basic bait. I just noticed that little smiley face there. Nah, he's just using roads for decoration. Yeah. Uh, Let's get those kites killed. Yeah, that's all right. They're only bait, anyways. was their purpose in life to die for my cause. <laughs> All shall bow down. De then they get the real treat of just dying. Okay. Well. And since all the things were learned out, now you can just secretly just sneak in there. Even though those are pretty good defenses, it's not great. Should have gone into my army composition a little bit. He's focusing so badly. If he had his webcam, he can't turn on and he would see how 
Okay, basically the whole idea is here. We're just trying to punch a way through. Why is my truck shaking such a dumb ass? <laughs> it's because he sees gates where they're not supposed to be, and he's like, I'm confused. Okay, so really got to make sure that we punch a hole here because the whole point of is this just, attack is to just get to the keep. Yes. Um, I don't think we posted the last video. Uh, do you think we should? Uh, okay. <sighs> Again. How come they look exactly the same? To me, it's just that guy's got a longer beard and he's got a helmet on. There's a different type of armor. See, the difference between these two guys is that this guy has a longer beard and different armor, and this guy has a sword, but other than that, they have, like, no difference. Same nose, same eyes, basically the same thing. Okay, he just died. R.I.P. dude. I'm not even talking throughout the <laughs> This is going to be pretty boring. Only I'm just enlightening this video. I'm concentrating like you said. Oh, we're not gonna get two stars. Come on, we can do it. Yay! 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 We managed to do it. There you go. That is all you want to do with this hero combo. <laughs> Done. Basically, if you have any time, just let your heroes die. I don't know. Okay. Now, the whole point of this attack is just to punch a hole to the keep. Find a castle that's worth a decent amount of crowns. And just... Yeah. Oh, jackpot. Uh, 99 gold. Nice. <laughs> this nice aronies. was a very good attack. So, yeah. <clears throat> and I think you should explain more about that a castle he had. You know, I'm going to go back and do the... I'm going to watch the replay and explain more. Because another thing that's important... There's certain other things. I was too busy actually doing the attack. <clears throat> without explaining anything. Without explaining anything. Yeah, basically how the attack went to so, just focusing too hard. Let's speed this up. First thing I did was set off the fire traps. Get rid of those things. Get them out of the way. Then things are Then annoying. lure the guardhouse and patrol point troops away. Get them... Away from the archer towers, the cannon towers, all like that, so that they can be dealt with. Um, as you can see, spearmen and uh, grenadiers made short work of those guys. Deploy my rams, they'll draw out the engineer traps, and then, of course, you know, archers will take care of those. I set my um, trebuchets to start taking out towers. Now, I try, I, I don't prioritize archer towers, per se, because they're, they're the weakest ones. Um, these crossbow towers and cannon towers are, well, cannon towers are obviously deadly to your, um, your trebuchets, and the crossbow towers are deadly to your foot troops. And your foot troops are supposed to be drawing fire away from your trebuchets, so... Basically, you take care of those two types of towers first and foremost. <clears throat> so I took out the first line of defense of towers for the most part with my trebuchets. Um, some foot soldiers did a pretty decent job of helping out. And now basically I'm concentrating. I just want to punch a hole to the keep so that Herman can get in there and take it down. Um, should we like call this something like a drill Edward, I'm sorry. What's that? Should we call this like a technique, like a drill technique or something? Like just get straight to the thing? Yeah. Or a straightforward attack. I guess. It's just punching a hole in the key, man. 
Blitz in the keep. We'll call it the Blitz Creek attack. Blitz Creek. Okay. Blitz Creek. We um, said it first. <laughs> Don't so anyway, you want to keep your foot soldiers out in front. They'll do damage while they're doing so. You want to keep Herman away. He'll he wants to charge towers. You got to be careful of that. You know, as you can see, I'm constantly pulling him back because he charge up there and get himself killed. He's eager. Um, another thing that's important, and I should have discussed this, is the composition of your army. Herman's ability doesn't really help cavalry or you know mounted units. So there's it's kind of pointless to have any in your army. Just Make foot, make use of foot soldiers. You're, there's no need for speed in this. It's all about strength. It's just punching a hole to the keep and going from there. Another thing too, um, you may have noticed when I was actually doing the video, I zoomed right in on the keep. And the reason I did that is because the distance my pointer has to travel when I do that between activating Edward's ability and dragging it to the keep is greatly redu reduced. You know, if you're all the way out here and then you got to drag all the way to there, I mean, it's just that much harder to, to do it because it takes like three, three of Edward's abilities to take down the keep. So zoom in on it, you know, and then you got a nice, easy, you know, short distance to travel and, and get that over and done with. Do you think they should add like a new unit or like? They can like travel through like rubble, like you know, like towers. I think they should do a lot to this game, but they'll never do anything more with it. Because so. like, unless like there's like a vent or something, like you can get like special heroes that only happen during a special time or something. There's a lot they could do with this game. Yeah, I mean, there could be a lot that could be fixed and added and removed. But they won't. <clears throat> they think it's perfect. No, it's not so much that. It's just apparently they're just not making any money on it or something anymore. I don't know. So it's basically quote unquote dead to the game community? No, not necessarily dead. I was well, just still plenty of people play it. So, anyway, um, let's discuss this the army composition. Pretty much the same as all my other armies, only the difference is I get rid of the two Mamluks, my typical trebuchet army, and I add a couple more of the. Uh, uh, Teutonic Knights, because they're really, really tough. They can draw a lot of fire, they can take a lot of damage. So basically what you're looking at, you know, you obviously have Edward Herman. So I had a couple of Raiders, six Heavy Infantry, four Pikemen, four Archers, six Ladder Invaders, two Rams, four Teutonic Knights, one Kurosafon, four Trebuchets, and four Grenadiers. Mm. So, there you go. Yeah. All right. Well, that is the Age 10 Herman Edward attack combo. Also known as the Blitz. Okay, that is the Blitz the Keep attack. Okay, well, I guess uh, we're done for now. Until next time, this is Dice Gods. And Dice Gods Jr. Signing off. Bye-bye.